Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Eva. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm great. Thank you so much, Eva, for asking. What about Jami? Hi, Jami. How are you? Excuse me, teacher. Eh, no se activaba mi audio. I'm no fine, and you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. I'm happy to see you guys. Welcome back to your English class. What about you, Carlos? Good evening. How are you? Okay, Carlos, your microphone is off. Su micrófono se apagó, Carlos. All right, everybody, welcome back to your English class. I hope you're safe and sound. Me sorprende, hoy les agarro la tarde, everybody. <laughs> All right? No, just kidding. You are just in time. Excellent. So, welcome back, everybody. It's a pleasure to see you. Today, we're going to finish with section five. And also, we are going to start with the final exam, okay? So, by today, you should be able to start your final exam, work on it. And tomorrow we are going to finish with, right? Ahora vamos a iniciar a trabajar con el final exam. Vamos a terminar la section five completita. Y vamos a iniciar a trabajar en el final exam. Aparte de eso, pues ustedes también, si quieren, pueden terminarlo ahora en la noche. O continúan avanzando mañana, right? Pero la plataforma para este día ya tendría que estar complete, right? Al menos la section five. So let's get started, everybody. Let's check what do we have for today's class. Let's see. Ken for ability. All right. Yesterday we were practicing with Ken, but we didn't finish, to be honest, right? We didn't finish. We saw it like really quick, and that's it. Now today we're going to finish the topic. Let's check. Voy a hacer la pronunciation yo, everybody. Listen carefully, escuchen cuidadosamente y luego van a ir ustedes. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. All right? Let's go with the next one. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. All right? Those are the pronunciations that we have related to can and can't, right? Which is for ability. Or for things that you don't know how to do, you can use the negative option, right? And then we have, these are basically the yes or no questions. Básicamente esto es lo que conocemos como yes or no questions. Pero también tenemos el WH questions, right? Que sería, what can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can, all right? Those WH questions, are used to know more information about something or someone, right? Y eso ya lo conocen ustedes, ya lo manejan. So today we're going to practice with it. Let's get started. Let's go with Eva. Eva, tell me the first three sentences. Me va a regalar las primeras tres oraciones, Eva. Es decir, con el I, you y el he. Okay. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. Very good, excellent. Let's go with Carlos Antonio. The other three, las otras tres, Carlos, negative. Okay. She can sing or act or algo así. No. At all. We can sing at all. They can sing at all. Excellent, very good. There you have it. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Angel. Angel, you ask 
the first three questions. Usted va a preguntar las primeras tres que tenemos con el you, I, and he. Y Norma González, usted va a contestar with the first three answers. Ok. Ok, let's see. Estoy desde mi teléfono, así que me va a costar un poquito. Ay, no. Vamos a ver. <risa> ok. Yo también. Ok, ok, don't worry. A ver, intentemos. Can you sing? I, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Sorry. Can I, can I sing? I, yes, I can. Sería porque el primero está, can you? I. Okay. Cuando le dicen, can you sing? Le están preguntando a usted. Entonces ya utilizó oh, el okay. subject I. Okay. Ahora Angie le pregunta, can I sing? Puedo cantar yo. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Yes, you can. Uh, thank you. <laughs> can he sing? Yes, he can. There you have it. Excellent. This is easy. Very good. Let's Thank go you. with the next other three. You're welcome, sir. Let's go with Jacqueline Campos. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening. Welcome back. All right, Jacqueline. You're going to help me with these other three. Usted me va a ayudar con estas otras tres. And Elizabeth Quiron, usted va a contestarlas. Okay? Aquí. Can he sing? Can she? Can she sing? No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. All right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Now, let's go with the WH, everybody. Let me have William Livorio. You ask and you answer. Usted pregunta y se contesta, estas dos. Ok, good evening, teacher. Good evening. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. Exactly, that's correct. Now, the purpose of this practice, everybody, is for you to, to see the use of can, right? Can and can. Lo que quiero con esta práctica, everybody, Es que vean la pronunciation ya unida en una sentence y también en una question, right? Recalco, en el caso de cuando tenemos aquí, can you sing? Esta es parte de una. ¿De qué tipo de, de preguntas es esa? Yes or no o WH? Yes or no. Yes or no, exactly. Very good. Entonces, si yo utilizo el what y el who, ¿qué tipo de pregunta es? ¿En qué categoría entra? W question. WH question. W. Very good. Thank you, Jacqueline and Angel. Very good, all right? Quiero que eso lo tengan bien presente, everybody. Now, let's move on. Guiding a structure with can or can't. Let me listen to Nancy Gutierrez. Please, Nancy, tell me the structure. Okay, means subject plus can, can't, plus verb, plus complement. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Nancy. This is the same structure that you had yesterday's class, right? So let's check the guiding examples. Number one and two. Jamie, please. One and two. My father can sing very well. They can dance. They can't dance. Ajá, uh -huh, very good, very good. Notaron ahí ese énfasis que ella hizo en la T. T, all right? Esa t no se tienen que perder, all right? Tiene que sonar. They can't, all right? I want you to notice the difference between both of them. All right, easily we can get lost over here. Fácilmente nos podemos, aunque queramos transmitir algo en negativo, si no hacemos énfasis en esa T, nobody's gonna know. Let's go with number three and four. Ceci Hernández, please. Good evening. Good evening. Three. I can swim dance, but I can't sing. Four. 
Patty can speak English, but she can speak French. That's correct, excellent, all right? We're still following the same structure, all right? We're still following the same structure. No nos hemos salido con ninguna de estas sentences, nos hemos salido de la estructura. Y la estructura nos pide el subject, cualquiera de los auxiliares, puede ser can or can't, dependiendo de lo que queramos transmitir, y el verb. The rest is complement, right? Now let's move on. Guiding a structure for questions with can. Now, as you already handle this, ustedes ya saben que en cada tiempo gramatical manejamos sentences, questions, which are also the interrogatives, uh, sentences in negative, and WH questions also, all right? So we have this one, guiding a structure for questions with Ken. Um, let me check, Daisy, tell me the structure, please. Ken plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question. Exactly, question mark. All right, now that you handle this structure, let's check the guiding examples. Notice everybody, let me see if you remember. ¿En qué tipo de preguntas vamos a elevar la voz? ¿En qué tipo de preguntas hacemos rising intonation? Decíamos que tenemos dos categories, two categories of questions, right? Tenemos dos categorías de preguntas, las yes or no y las WH questions. ¿En cuál de esas dos vamos a elevar la intonation? WH question. Are you sure? All right. Let's check. Thank you, Carla. All right. Don't forget, everybody. Esto ya lo practicaron ustedes. La rising intonation la hacemos con las yes or no questions. Right? Recal, la rising intonation, rising, la elevación en la entonación, la hacemos con las yes or no questions. If I have falling intonation, si yo bajo la entonación, es porque es WH question. All right? Now. Let's listen. Voy a, hacer, voy a decir, y esto ya lo conocen ustedes, lo vimos como la cuarta clase o sexta clase, maybe. All right? So here we go. Can you perform at the party? Nothing? It's rising information and rising intonation. Can you perform at the party? Can you jump high? Can Marcus run fast? All right? Now, let me hear somebody. Let's start with Kenya Ayala. Tell me question number one, Kenya, please. Can you perform at the party? Uh -huh, exactly, very good. Cecilia Rivas, number two. Can you jump high? Uh -huh, very good. And the last one, let me check Damaris Vega, please. Can Marcos yeah. run fast? Very good. Do you notice, guys? Rising intonation. ¿Lograron localizar esa rising intonation? Very good. Espero que sí. Now, let's go. Esos son tips para su speaking, everybody. All right? Para la habilidad de hablar, ese tipo de tips son perfectos. Practice time. Let me hear the instructions. Angel Cano, please, tell me the instructions. Sorry, ahorita, ahorita. Yeah, sure. Practice time. Number one, work individually. individually. Number two, create one sentences. Create, create one sentence create. in affirmative with can. Mm -hmm. Number three, create one sentence. Create one sentence in negative with can't. Mm -hmm. And number four, create one question using can. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Angel. No creo que a propósito puse tres veces create. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There you have it. All right. Thank y you. Funciona, tal vez puede imaginarse. Ah, no, es está copy paste. Puede imaginarse que esta E es E. All right. In Spanish, no porque la E en realidad sí suena create, como debe de ser, como E in English. All right, create. 
Now, everybody, remember, one sentence in affirmative using can, one sentence in negative using can't, and one question using can. Please. Perdón, teacher, una consulta. Yes. Eh, sí, los tipos de, de, de sentences que vamos a hacer. Uno dijo que era pregunta. Yes, son tres. La ot bueno, Ajá, la otra. Una en afirmación Ajá. o positiva, Ajá. la otra en negativa y la otra sería pregunta. Ok. Very good. Very good. Do you have a question, William, or you're finished? Finished. Finished. All right, excellent. Okay, let me just take some notes. Okay, action, William. Okay. 
la primera que hice fue la pregunta. Dice, can my son play soccer? Number two, my children can't dancing very well. Three, my English group can speak English very well. Very good, excellent, that was nice. Very good, sir. No corrections, no mistakes, all right? And let me just... Mm, repita la number two, William, please. My children can't dancing very well. My children. Ajá. Sí, Mis está. hijos no pueden bailar muy bien. Está correcto. Ahí sí. puede decir... My children can't dance, or my children can't dance. Está bien, cualquiera de las dos. Ajá, tomando en cuenta lo que usted decía, ¿verdad? Por el, porque el segundo sí. verbo. Ajá, correcto. Thank you. Está correcto, William. Thank you. Let's go with Eva after Eva Jam. Ok, la primera sería la afirmativa. Dice así: My grandmother can date very well. Perdón, my grandmother can drink very well. Bake, la segunda, bake de, de cocinar o, o play? Drink, dibujar, drink very well. Ah, draw. Draw, uh -huh. Uh -huh. draw very well. Well, y la segunda sería la, la negativa. I can play guitar, but I can play piano. Excellent, very good. Y las... Tercera sería la, la pregunta, a ver. Uh -huh. Sería, can we, can we use your car? Can we use your car? Uh -huh. Very good, Eva, excellent. Great uh -huh. sentences, Eva, very good. Let's go sí. with Jami. After Teacher, Jami. No sería drive en la última de Eva. Sí, ella dijo drive. Can I drive user your car? Dice, ah, oh. can I use your car? No, también puede decir eso. Can I use your car? Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Es como cuando usted utiliza el have en vez del it. All right. También se puede. Ok, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Let's go with Yami after Yami. Carla after Carla. Y... Eh, I can cook. All days. Mm -hmm. uh, they can't swim. Uh, can she dance very well? Very good, very good. Solo Yami, para que suene mejor quizás la number one, no le ponga all days. Póngale every day. Ah, uh, every day. Mm -hmm. Very good. I can cook every day. Every day. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Jamie. No mistakes. No encontré ningún mistake. Let's go with Mr. Cano. And after Cano, Jacqueline. Okay, let's see. She can use the computer. Mm -hmm. I can't drive an airplane. Can you speak Muslim? Very good, excellent. Thank excellent, you. sir. Extra information, extra vocabulary. Very good. Let's go with Jacqueline. After Jack, I oh know. Carla, you were before. Usted iba antes que Angel, Carla. All right, doesn't matter. Action, Carlita, tell me. Okay, I can write and speak. She can dance. Uh, can Julio go to go to the park? Uh -huh, oh, okay. pero, aunque esa sería la pronunciación. Can Julio go, go to the park? Yes. Can Julio or Julio go to the park? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go with Jacqueline after Jacqueline Arnoldo. Okay, uh, can she dance? I can't play soccer. I can play basketball. 
face. Very good, excellent. Those are pretty easy, the ones that you gave me, Jacqueline. Love you, Fazil, Jacqueline. Thank you, yes, yes. Excellent, very good. Let's go with Arnoldo. Okay. Um, number one, my mother can drive trucks. Number two, Es mentira, es mentira. Yo bien creído. No se asuste. Number two, eh, negative. She can't swim in the pool. She can't. Eh, number three, eh, la pregunta. Can Eduardo play basketball? Ajá. Uh -huh. Very good. You're talking about abilities. Yes, Arnoldo. Excellent. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome, sir. Let's go with Ceci. Excellent, Ceci. Eh, sigo, teacher. Yes. Ah, thank you. And uh, one, you can cut higher. Two, I can't sleep early. Three. Can she drive a motorcycle? Very good, excellent. Ceci, repeat after me, motorcycle. Motorcycle. Excellent, very good, Ceci, there you have it. Very Thank you. Good. You're welcome, honey. Now, let me check. I'm still missing a couple of students, so I'm falta un par de estudiantes por aquí. Let me see. Solo pasaron William, Eva, Yami, Carla, Angel, Jacqueline, Arnoldo, and Ceci. Ah, me fan. Ajá. <laughs> ya ven, está saliendo los demás. Let's go with Elizabeth, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, the affirmative. I can play basketball, but I can't play tennis. Uh, can Rafael, sí, eh, perdón. Can Rafael cook? Uh, yes, he can. Ah, very good. Excellent. You gave me the answer. Interesting. Thank you, girl. Now I'm still missing another one. Hi, Normita. I think Normita, you you have a little bit of issue, right? Creo que está ocupadita, Normita. No se preocupe. Yes, teacher. Sorry, pero mañana pero, este ando ando en el partido de fútbol a mi niño. <laughs> Right. Sorry, no. teacher, pero lo intentaré porque no me traje el cuaderno. Ok, la, la primera, I can, no, no, la, no es esa. My, uh, my son can, so, my son can play soccer. Uh -huh, my, son, my son can play soccer, very good. Yes. <laughs> yeah, la sure. negativa, la negativa. I can, I can, I can drive car. Uh -huh, okay. Y la pregunta, can you play soccer? Uh -huh. Very good, Norma. There you have it. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Very good. Let's go with Mr. Hernandez, please. Action, Carlos. No estoy muy seguro, pero voy a tratar. Try, try. He can, he, he can dancing. She can swing, swing. Can Mary play tennis? Mm -hmm. Very good. La primera, Carlos, yo la dejaría como he can dance. Dance, ah, dance. Very good. De ahí todo lo demás. Okay. Excellent. Very Gracias. good. There you Gracias. have it. Now you see, guys. The purpose of me checking your sentences is to help you um, see if you have any corrections or if you need help in something, right? Ese es el propósito de que ustedes hagan sus sentences. Y cuando ustedes dicen, eh, I'm going to try, voy a intentar, eso es lo que quiero, all right? That's precisely what I need and what I want. Now, let's go to talent and abilities, everybody. No, abilities and talents. So let's check. In the video de la platform, que quizás de algunos terminaron la section five, maybe others don't or hasn't, right? Haven't. 
Mm, you need to see that video in which you have to complete this part. En ese video, ustedes los tendrían que poner a hacer esto, a ordenarlos en diferentes categorías, los talents y los um, abilities, right? Pero ya lo tengo yo aquí entre el musical or artistic, technical or mechanical, y déjenme ver, el otro sería athletic and other. All right, so let's check the pronunciation. Ahora vamos a hacer la primera parte del final exam. La verdad es que está en teoría algo sencillo, all right? Y corto, sobre todo está corto, así que tenemos que trabajar esto primero antes de hacer el examen. So we get music or artistic, or artistic, yes. Play the violin. Play the violin. Sing English songs. That's an ability and a talent, right? <laughs> Because you need to learn a language to sing. Technical or mechanical. Design a web page. Fits a car. Fits a motorcycle. That's an ability, trying to fix something. Let's go with athletic. Do gymnastics. Ride a horse. Surf. Then we have other. Bake a cake. Play chess. Tell good jokes, right? Tell good jo jokes se refiere a que ustedes son buenos haciendo bromas, right? O haciendo chistes. Now, let's move on with this one. And let's start with Nancy Gutierrez. Please tell me the vocabulary of mus musical and artistic and technical or mechanical. Okay, teacher. Play the the violin. Sing English songs. And the sing a wee page. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. Excellent, Nancy. Repeat after me. Design. Design. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Nancy. Let's go with. Norma, do you have a question, Norma, or you want to participate? Oh, fue automático que se le levantó la manita. All right, let's go with Jami. Sorry, teacher, es que perdí la pantalla y no la podía ver. Creo que intentando verlos, no puse y levanté la mano. Ah, okay, don't worry, Normita, no se preocupe. Let's go with Jami. Action, Jami. Sí. Excuse me, teacher. Eh, la palabra Técnica, eh, hay una E eh, de más. No, that's the correct one. Así, así se escribe. Y en el caso de design, es. Eh, Let me check. Eh, eh. Let me check. Sí, technical, right? Mm. Uh -huh. You were right. You were right, Jamie. Thank you. In the case of design, the uh -huh. design is no es este, la G antes y después la N. Design. No, that one is correct. Let me check again. <laughs> Deben chequeo, chequeo de nuevo, Jamie. Design. Mm -hmm, it's true, Yami. Thank you. All right, there you have it. Technical issues. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. All right, you're welcome, Yami. But tell me the vocabulary, Yami. Let's check. Musical or artistic. Mm -hmm. Play the violin. Sing English song, songs. Technical or ¿Cómo se dice? Mechanical. Mechanical. Mm -hmm. Design. A web page. Fix a car. Mm -hmm. Fix a cycle. Excellent. Thank you, Jami. Very good job. <coughs> Let me go with somebody else. Let's go with William Liborio, please. Mm -hmm. 
musical or artistic, play the violin, Sai, sing or say, uh, sing English songs, technical or mechanical, design a web, web page, fix a car, fix a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Let's go with Ceci Hernandez. Uh -huh, Ceci, tell me the vocabulary. Musical or artistic? Play the bio. ¿Cómo se dice violin? Violin. Ah. Play the violin. Sing English songs. Technical or mechanical. Design a web page. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Ceci. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. All right, everybody, let's check this one. This is pretty basic vocabulary. Let's go with the other one, which is athletic and other, all right? So let's go with the first one. Let me have Carlos Antonio. Tell me athletic and other, please. They uh, okay. They cheese. They good. Okay. Jokes. Jokes. Ajá, pero dígame el de Athletic también. Athletic. Do gymnastic. Try of sport. Try of sport. Sure. Excellent. Thank you, Carla. Very good. Let me go with Elizabeth Giron. Athletic and other, please. Okay, teacher. Do. In gymnastic, uh, ride a horse and surf. Uh, the other, bake a cake, play chess, tell good, uh, tell good job. Uh -huh, exactly, thank you. Let's go with Alba Duarte. Uh -huh, Alvita, tell me the vocabulary, please. Are you there, Alba? Maybe you are busy. Yes. Okay, I got you. Let's go with the last one. Angel Cano, please tell me the vocabulary, athletic or other. Uh, at athletic, do gymnastic, ride a horse, surf, other, bake a cake, play chess, Tell good jobs. Excellent. That's correct, sir. All right, everybody. Let's move on to the guiding examples. I can tell good jokes, but I can't bake a cake. All right? Un don. <laughs> Decir buena broma, pero no cocinar. Let's go with number two. Pablo can ride a horse, but he can't surf. Right? When you have an ability, but at the same time, you don't know how to do something else. Now, let's go with this ones. What are you gonna do? Let me check if I have it in here. No, I don't have the practice over here. So let me go with Cecilia Rivas. Tell me sentence number one, please. I can't tell good jokes, but I can't bake a cake. Excellent, thank you. Eva Argueta, sentence number two, please. Pablo can ride a horse, but he can't surf. Excellent, thank you. Now, guys, let's check. We have a reading. We have a reading part. No vamos a hacer la práctica de esto. Vamos a dejar para la clase de mañana, pero tenemos un reading. Y vamos a hacer este reading si nos queda tiempo. Mejor vámonos para el final exam, right? Porque esto sí me urge para que ustedes puedan iniciar a hacer ya su, eh, su final exam. By the way, ¿cómo vamos con la platform? ¿Terminaron la sección 5 o la vamos a terminar ahora? I finished, teacher. I finished. Finish, 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 finish. Very good, excellent. <laughs> That's music for my ears. Very good, guys. Now, let's go. I have the part B over here because the first part is the listening. And como ustedes ya saben, los listenings, Estos tienen que trabajarlos by yourself porque es algo donde tienen que prestar mucha atención, right? 
tienen que trabajarlos en un ambiente donde no tengan quizás mucho ruido para que puedan enfocarse un poco más en la pronunciación y en lo que la persona quiere transmitir con los audios. Pero las partes gramaticales sí las podemos ver aquí. So let me go with the first one. B, complete the conversation. In Kenya Ayala, tell me the instructions, please. Complete the conversation with some or any. Now this part, thank you, Kenya. Now in this part, you only need to use some or any depending on what you want to transmit, okay? So let's check, we have Amanda. The store doesn't have any fresh salad. Adam, let's see. Como las opciones solamente son dos, some or any, right? Vamos a ver qué le puso Adam. Well, we have lots of tomatoes. Let's make. Vamos a ver, Ceci Hernández. Some. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Let me check. Some. Exact. Very good. Guys, les voy a decir algo. No lo vamos a hacer en la plataforma porque después de ustedes yo tengo otro grupo. All right. Pero vamos a hacer una cosa. Aquí les voy a ir poniendo las, las respuestas. All right. En este caso. Lo que mencionó Ceci, sí es correcto. Son. All right. Para los que no han hecho el examen todavía, pueden ir tomando nota de eso. Thank you, Ceci. Let's go with Amanda. Ok, do we have... Let's see. Yami, Rajo. Any lemon. Ajá, exactly. Any lemon. Very good. Let's go with the next one. Anna, no, we need to buy. Let's check Elizabeth Giron. Any. Are you sure? <laughs> All right, let's check this one. Let me go. Thank you, Elizabeth. What about Angel? What do you think, Angel? Any or some? Song because is a uh, comfortable. All right, exactly. That's correct. Very good. Thank you, sir. All right. And remember, guys, eh, recuerden, y eso lo vimos en esa practice que hicimos bastante, all right. El N es para questions and negative statements. Y el some puede ser para questions y también para affirmative statements, all right. A no ser que yo quiera decir, we don't need some, uh, no, solo es para affirmative statements, all right? We don't have any option over here. Now, estas tres respuestas que tienen aquí, everybody, los que no han hecho el examen, tomen nota porque esto es lo correcto, all right? I'm checking. I have the exam on my telephone and I know these are the correct answers. Okay? So let's go with the next part. Amanda, we need... Let's see, Carlos, what do we need? Some or any, Carlos? No, I don't have Carlos. Let's go with the Maris. We need the Maris? Okay. Uh... We need some lettuce too. Uh, exactly, some lettuce. Very good. Recordemos, estamos en affirmative, right? Excellent. Thank you, Damaris. We need some lettuce too. Adam. Oh, I don't want. I don't want. Let me check. Eva. What do you have in here, Eva? Any. Any letters. Exactly. Very good. Y se apoyó por el negativo, right? Very good. Any letters. Mm, let's go with the following. Amanda. Then let's get Cecilia Rivas. ¿Qué pondría usted ahí, Cecilia? Some. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Let's, then let's get some olives. Let's go with the next one. No, I don't want Jacqueline. Any. 
Uh -huh, exactly, you are good. Any olives in my fresh salad? But let's put, let's see, William. ¿Qué cree que sea aquí, William? Si seguimos la regla del negativo y positivo, teacher, tendría que ser eh, son. Mm -hmm. That's correct, William. Very good. Yay! Excellent, everybody. Now you check. If you finished already the exam, I'm telling you this information again. Si ya terminaron, pues que excelente. Gracias por ayudarme a hacer el examen aquí. Si no, pueden tomar estas notas. Angel, do you have a question? Yes. Eh, how do you see, eh, how do you say cucumber? Cucumber. And, and what's, eh, what's, the, what's the meaning? Ah, cucumber, pepinillo. No, pepino, el pepino fresco. Es ah, okay. Cuando usted Cuc escucha pickles, cucumber. Ah, cucumber, exact. Cuando usted escucha pickles, que también ya lo hemos visto en una conversation, esos son pepinillos, son los que vienen en botes, así en rodajas. Ok. ¿Y este es el pe pepino normal? Ajá, un pepino fresco, normal. Ok, thank you. Excelente. Yes, Ceci? Sí, eh, sorry, es que me confunde un poco que son también puede utilizarse cuando son negativas. Con no. tal que, ¿Ah? que sea okay. contable, o como es. I don't have some... No, como en este caso que le puso no, no, we need to buy some. Let me check, no, we need to buy some. Sí, pero aquí no está haciendo el negativo usted, como en esta otra, mire, déjeme sacar el puntero mm -hmm. por aquí. Como aquí, no, I don't want any, vaya, ahí se tengo double negative. Sí, Ajá. Pero aquí no estoy haciendo Ajá. ningún negativo. Aquí solo estoy respondiendo de que pues, no tengo lo que necesito. Right? Y por eso tengo que comprar algunos. Ah, uh, ok. All right, excellent. Sí. Sí. Sí, sí. Vamos a declarar algo aquí también, everybody. Let's pay attention. English is based on context, right? Eso ya se los he dicho muchas veces. El inglés se basa la mayoría del tiempo en el contexto. Aunque any significa ninguno, ustedes pueden llegar a encontrar que con otra palabra o con otro noun, any puede significar algún. Right. ¿Recuerdan? Eh, yo traigo ese, esa, esa, ese ejemplo a la mente, el de William, right? cuando me puso lo del tea, iced tea, creo que era. Right. Entonces hablábamos que si le poníamos any type of iced tea, Ahí sería como algún tipo de té helado, right? Creo que es eso. Pero si no le poníamos el type, entonces teníamos que dejarlo como son, right? Entonces ustedes, aparte de ver la gramática, también tienen que sentir si pega lo que ustedes está, están escribiendo, right? Si tiene sentido para ustedes. Do you have a question, Angel? Sorry, se me levantó la mano. Okay, excellent, very good. Yes, Cecita, so that's the thing. En este caso no estamos haciendo double negative, all right? Entonces, solo estamos confirmando que no tenemos algo y que por eso necesitamos. Okay, sí. Thank okay. you, teacher. Good. You're welcome, honey. Let's go, everybody, to this one. C, choose the correct adjective to complete the sentence. Um, William, tell me the instructions, please. Read the following. Solamente pedirle un favor, tal vez ampliarlo un poco, teacher. Please. Porque no puedo um, esconder el eso de inglés corporativo, right? So, voy a hacerlo por aquí. All right. A ver ahora, William. Ay, no, se congeló. <laughs> Let me change. Okay. Maybe he has an issue with the internet. Let me go with Carla. Tell me the instructions, please. Okay. Instruction. 
read the following sentence and choose the but one. Remember the correct positions of the adverbs of frequency. Frequency, excellent, very good. Perdón, teacher, tuve problema con, con, con de conexión, pero si gusta se las leo. All right, excellent. ¿Va a ayudarme usted con la number one, William? ¿Le parece? Porque ya me leyó, Carlita, la instruction. Bien. All right, excellent. Entonces, William, dígame la sentence así como está. Never I play soccer on weekends. ¿Y eso para usted está correct or incorrect? Está incorrecto. Why? Porque el adjective debe ir después del subject. Ajá. El I never. Adjective. Ajá, es correcto. La única que se puede usar es el sometimes. Exactly, sir. Very good that you remember the grammatical rule. Excellent. Thank you. It's incorrect, right? Ya ustedes lo manejan, es incorrect. Miren, voy a darle escape a esto. Y voy a hacerlo más chiquito. All right, ya que leímos las instructions. Okay, let's go with this one. Number two. Let's listen to Daisy. Daisy, tell me the number two, please. They usually. Yo consideraría que es correct. All right, but tell me the sentence, pero leame la oración. Uh, they uh, usually study English at night. Exactly, Daisy, and it's correct. Why is it correct? ¿Por qué está correcta? Bueno, porque siguiendo la estructura, sí, eh, siempre en el mismo rango, por decirlo así. Mm -hmm, exactly. ¿Qué sería? Utilizar el... Adverb frequency after the subject. Very good, Daisy. Thank you. All right. Let's go with number three. Let me check number three, everybody. Tamaris hmm. Vega, number three, please. Sometimes she feels very tired. It's correct. Correct. That's That's correct, <laughs> all right? Qué redundante, qué redundante aquí. Es correcta, eso es correcto. <laughs> all right, very good, Tamaris, thank you. Number four, um, Yami, please. He often calls her in the morning. Is correct. Correct, excellent. Thank you, Yami, it's correct. Very good. And let's go with the last one, number five. Angel, please. Okay. You listen to me hardly ever. Mm -hmm. Es in incorrect. Very good, sir. Excellent. All right. Why didn't I ask you again why? ¿Por qué no les pregunté a las últimas tres personas que pasaron la razón? Porque ya la conocen, right? Los primeros dos compañeros que participaron nos dijeron las grammatical rules. And that's perfect. Very good. Thank let's you. Go the, let's go with this part. You're welcome, sir. Let's go with the choose the correct meaning of WH words, right? Let me make it, let me make it bigger. All right. En esta parte, ustedes tienen diferentes eh, choices, all right? Vamos a ver, los que ya los hicieron pueden ayudarme todavía más aquí, all right? Porque yo no tengo las choices aquí. Las tengo en la plataforma, pero no las tengo aquí. So, let's see. Number one, who? Uh, people. People. Very good, excellent. It refers to people. Thank you, Jacqueline. Number two, Ceci, where? Uh, Place, place. It refers to a place. Number three, Norma, when? Time, teacher, time. Time, excellent, very good. Number four, which, recuerden que con which casi no hemos trabajado, right? 
Pero de igual manera, lo que yo les comentaba, que entra en la, en la lista de las WH. Mm, let me see, Arnoldo. Let's check which, Arnoldo. Are you there <laughs> or no? Hello. Yes, I hear you. Ahora sí lo escucho. Eh, dígame, teacher, la, la, la pregunta que no me carga. El... Ah, vale. En which, ¿cuál de las opciones puso usted? Déjeme ver, quiero irme a la plataforma para decirle qué opciones tenemos aquí. Mire. <risa> Ah, no, así no. Le estoy dando copia. So, let me go. Eh, Arnoldo, ¿usted no ha trabajado esta parte todavía? Como no, ya lo trabajé, ya lo, ya lo finalicé, pero no me carga ahorita la... Ah, ok. Don't worry. Let me see if somebody else can help you. Déjenme ver, Ceci, ajá. Es choice. Choice, exactly. Choice, all right? Opción. Para eso utilizamos el which. And the last one, what? Let me listen to Jami. When do we use what? Jami. What is it? ¿Qué, verdad? Uh -huh. eh, se refiere a cosas. Uh -huh. Think or think. object. Think. Exactly. Think or object. A ustedes entre las options, everybody. Thank you, Jami. Entre las opciones les va a aparecer esa de think or object. Y esa es la que tienen que cliquear como correcto. All right, everybody. Um, hmm. Let me just check this over here. All right. Now, with this, we're going to let the exam over here. Vamos a dejar hasta aquí la parte del exam. Continue working on it. Continúen trabajando en eso. Ya la mayoría creo que ya lo terminó, all right? Mañana, en la clase de mañana, vamos a hacer un repaso de todos los temas, everybody. Si nos quedó una duda, aprovechamos de eh, reforzar ese conocimiento. And that's pretty much it. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.